when you look at what happens, all the great teachers throughout history, doesn't matter what religion you look at, you know, any kind of teaching, any kind of religion, any kind of teacher, right across the world throughout human history have all recommended fasting. It's been a key part of the principles. Now, is fasting a silver bullet? No. And if you just fast and then eat junk foods and then fast and eat junk food, is that going to work? No. Right? You want to change your diet and your lifestyle and regular intelligent fasting at the same time. You do that, it's a magic triplicate or triumphant or whatever the term for three things working together is. I can't quite think of it right now. But starvation versus fasting. People say to me, oh, look, I'm worried about starvation. Well, actually, you don't have to worry. Fasting is allowing your body to burn up the stored fuel. That's why I asked if anyone here had zero, 1% or 0% body fat because I wouldn't recommend you fast for too long because you haven't got any fuel. But most of us have got it. You know, we've all got a little bit of fuel. If you go looking, you'll find a little bit of fuel, right? So we've all got it. One pound of fat is 3,500 calories. So for every one pound of body fat you have, you can fast for two days. So you can do the maths now. You kind of go, okay, I hope he's not looking at me, but I've got, you know, 10 pounds of body fat. So that's uh, 20 kilo. That's, uh, that's uh, 10, oh, I can fast for 20 days. And the body won't bat an eyelid. It'll be thrilled. 